case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2007, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Philip Morris USA v. Williams, which centered around the limits and guidelines for awarding punitive damages in lawsuits. The case involved a lawsuit against Philip Morris, the manufacturer of Marlboro cigarettes, for negligence and deceit that led to the death of a heavy smoker. The widow of the deceased represented his estate, and the jury found that Philip Morris had knowingly misled the man into thinking that smoking was safe. The jury initially awarded compensatory damages of $821,000 and $79.5 million in punitive damages. However, the trial judge deemed the punitive damages excessive and reduced them to $32 million. Both parties appealed, and the Oregon Court of Appeals restored the jury's original punitive damages award. Philip Morris subsequently appealed to the Oregon Supreme Court, which upheld the award. The case was eventually taken to the U.S. Supreme Court, which found that the punitive damages award constituted a taking of property from Philip Morris without due process. The Supreme Court clarified that a jury could not base its award on dissimilar acts of a defendant and could only consider reprehensibility of conduct that risked harm rather than punishing for harm caused to others. The Oregon Supreme Court was required to apply this standard to determine the reasonableness of the $79.5 million punitive damages award against Philip Morris. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.